Good morning, physics students. We are going to be doing our flying pig lab today. Um, that's why we have our pig with wings. Um, we're going to take several different measurements, get this guy flying in a circle, and then take a couple of additional measurements. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to use a scale uh, like the one here to measure the mass of the pig. So uh, that may be a first step to write down in your procedure. So I'm just going to put the pig on the scale, wait for it to come to equilibrium. There it is. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and write that down. It is 0 0.1555 kilograms. So there is my mass for the pig. These are also the other measurements I'm going to be taking as we go through the lab. The length of the string, the radius, and also the amount of time it takes to complete 10 laps around. You'll see what that looks like here in just a second. So next step, I'm going to take our pig. There is a string that is hanging here that I've got attached to the ceiling. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach our pig to that string. Make sure he is on there good. There we go. Hey, there is our pig. He is now attached to our string. Move the camera up a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. Um, so he's attached all the way to the top of the ceiling. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the length of this string. So I'm just gonna go from the ceiling to the string itself, and it is one meter long. So string length, if you wanna go ahead and put that down, is one meter long. Now, the other thing I'm gonna include is I'm gonna include how long the pig himself is. So the pig himself, do that in meters as well. We always take our measurements in meters, by the way. So the pig himself is right at 10 centimeters, so the pig plus the string length, pig plus string is 1.1 meters. So here's our next two measurements. The string length is one meter long. The pig and the string combined together is 1.1, meters. All right, so next part, we're gonna get this pig flying. So to do that, it has a little switch on the side that causes his wings to flap. There they go. So I'm going to basically get this guy going in circular motion. There you go. So he is flying in a nice circle above my head, uh, as you can see. So if we go move the camera so we can kind of see underneath what it looks like. So there he is flying in a circle around the class. Okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna measure is the radius that he is traveling in. I'm gonna try to measure the radius he's traveling in. So to do that, I'm gonna get underneath him and measure, take my meter stick and just measure how far approximately that is. This may not be a super exact measurement and that's okay. There you go. Okay, so the radius he is traveling in is 0 0.8 zero meters. So our radius he's traveling in is 0 0.08 meters. The last thing we're gonna do, the last measurement we need to take is we're gonna time how long he takes to do 10 laps or to make 10 complete circles around the turtle. So I've got my timer. That's the piece of equipment I'm gonna use is my timer on my phone. And we are gonna time how long it takes. So I'm gonna time him from here and we're gonna do 10 laps. So when he comes back around, I'm gonna start it. And now he started, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and our last lap for 10. There we go. There we are. I'm going to go ahead and turn him off. So our time for 10 laps was 19.87 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. 19.87 seconds. So let's write that down. There is our time for 10 laps. Keep in mind that's for 10 laps. That's going to be important. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to write out the procedure for doing this lap. Uh, and then we'll walk through how to calculate the force gravity, the force centripetal, the force tension on the string. And then the final thing you're going to try to calculate is what was the angle as the pig was flying between vertical 
so where the meter stick is and where the string is itself. So we're trying to find this angle up here at the top of the string. All right, if you guys have questions, please let me know. Y'all have a great day. Thanks, bye.